The aircraft HUD improvement project, by new, part of the most recent ACE-2 release, introduces a variety of long-awaited features to Armour's jets. We'll cover each of the new features here, some basic TTPs for using them, as well as briefly talk about some of the future planned improvements. First, let's take a look at the meat of the current release, the CCIP bomb release mode. With this, gone are the days of having to guesstimate non-laser-guided bomb drops in the wacky default Armour way of doing things. Instead, the new mode represents the way dumb bombs are dropped in reality. Not only is vanilla CCIP functionality included, you can also achieve a converted CCRP release intuitively, with easy HUD symbology to differentiate between which method is active. So what is CCIP? CCIP stands for Continuously Computed Impact Point, and is the default state for bombs. In CCIP, you can either release bombs instantly on close targets, or designate longer range targets for a flat or lofting attack, in which case it converts to consent to release CCRP or constantly computed release point. The instant release mode is the easiest to use, and the most accessible to players like myself who control via mouse and keyboard and don't necessarily have the most fine-grained rudder control because of that. Due to how Arma models aircraft interiors and HUDs, at least with the Harrier, you'll need to enter a very steep dive to achieve a proper instant CCIP release. Let's talk about the HUD symbology. The HUD now contains a few more elements than before. To start, we have the Flight Path Marker, or FPM, which shows where your aircraft is actually flying, not where your nose is pointed. Next, when switching to bomb mode, you'll see the mode now designated as CCRP Consent Release. This is the default mode selected, and you can ignore the text. CCIP and converted CCRP automatically switch as appropriate. Once you have bomb selected, the HUD will display additional symbology. You'll see a dashed vertical line with a circular pipper on the bottom of it. The dash line tells you that you're in CTIP mode, but not within constraints to do an immediate drop. When the line turns solid, as in a steep dive, this indicates that you are able to immediately release the bomb and have it impact where the pipper is located. So, with CCIP, you find your target, go into a steep dive, place the pipper on the target once the vertical line is solid, and release the bomb by pressing fire. The bomb will drop and impact on the pipper with a high degree of accuracy. It's a very straightforward method. So what happens if you want to engage a target from less strict constraints, say a shallower dive or even a flat flight profile? Well, this is where the converted CCRP mode comes into play. CCRP stands for Continuously Computed Release Point. I'll refer to it as simply CCRP for the purposes of these instructions, but keep in mind that it is actually a conversion of a CCIP solution into a CCRP-style release method. Full CCRP functionality will be included in a future release. For our purposes in ARMA, the intent of the converted CCRP option is that it allows you to drop a bomb without needing to see the target in your HUD at the point of release or enter a diving flight profile. CCRP allows you two basic delivery options. The first is a flat delivery in which you maintain more or less level flight, while the second is a loft in which you climb before release to throw the bomb in an arc towards the target. We'll address a flat delivery first. To drop a bomb via CCRP, the first step is to get the circular CCIP pipper over whatever your target is while it's in a dash state. This is easy since you'll only have a solid CCIP line in very steep dives or very low altitudes. Once your pipper is on the target, press and hold your fire key. This will put the weapon into consent mode. At this point, you'll see the circular part of the pipper disappear to be replaced by a box that's centered on your target point. This is a CCRP symbology and lets you know that you've converted over into that method. The dashed vertical line will turn solid and a horizontal line will appear over your flight path marker, the distance above relating to how far from the calculated release point you are. This horizontal line is called the Bomb Release Queue, or BRC. Keep the flight path marker centered on the bomb fall line while the BRC descends towards it. The first time the BRC hits the FPM, the fall line will flash and you will see the BRC jump a bit. This indicates that you are now in the constraints to loft the bomb. We'll talk about how that works next. To do a normal flat release, Simply continue keeping the FPM aligned with the fall line while the BRC descends again. But when they all meet for the second time, you'll hear the bomb release. At this point you can break away from the target, gravity will handle the rest. A loft release is typically initiated from very low altitude against a stored target. As full CCRP is not implemented yet, you may find the converted CCRP loft method to be a bit odd to use, as it requires you to pull up find and designate a target, then move into a loft profile. In any case, the method is simple. Designate your target after popping up slightly to see it, 
then pull into a 20 to 40 degree climb once the HUD symbology flashes. When the BRC and FPM cross, the bomb will release. Pull away and let gravity handle the rest. Note that if you don't have the bomb release cue and flight path marker aligned on the fall line when they meet, the fall line will turn dash again and the release will be cancelled. As far as TTPs go, the CCIP is great for situations when you need to rapidly strike a target after heavy maneuvering, or when you need to strike targets with short notice or short exposure. The converted CCRP method allows for you to be more deliberate and strike from longer ranges at higher altitudes, though it can be tricky to use without a good analog rudder. A good technique to adopt is to approach the target from an offset, then roll into a steep final attack heading, as illustrated here. This allows you to easily see the target area before committing to the attack. The last major feature of this release is a simulation of the A-10's gun pipper. This one's far simpler to explain, so we won't spend too much time on it. In short, the pipper is replaced with one that accurately represents where your rounds will land. Place the pipper on the target, pull the trigger, target go boom. Simple, easy. As far as the future is concerned, News looking at adding steer points, laser spot tracking, stores management to configured bomb release settings like ripple quantity, and DTOS. As it stands currently, the aircraft HUD improvement project is a total game changer for dumb bomb usage. Anything added in the future is just gravy. Thanks to New and Kraus for schooling the ways of the CCRP and CCIP. If you're a sim dude or interested in sim level procedures, I'd recommend checking out Kraus's channel, linked, for tutorials and videos. News channel, also linked, it's full of all sorts of other systems he's worked on, and it's likewise worth a visit. If you enjoyed this tutorial and like to see more, let me know. Until next time, take it easy.